What's the matter? after the incident. Don't move. You'll open up those wounds. You administered treatment to an enemy. <laughs> you truly are incomprehensible. You saved Mars, after all. Saved her? You are mistaken. We were collaborating. We were obligated to act to protect each other. Nothing more. Um, I've been wondering. How did you two meet up, anyhow? And why did you attack your comrades? My reasons are intensely personal. Personal? The planet you call Mars is the resting place of a dear friend. Dark Lord violated his rest, like a grave robber. I cannot let such desecration go unanswered. This galaxy is fated for annihilation. However, this planet was to stand as a monument to his memory. Until that day. We disciples of dark energy have long been strictly forbidden from turning against each other. I therefore proposed collaboration to the Star Child, the only entity with the military might capable of felling my foe. It is only natural, then, that I acted in her defense. So that's why you looked out for her. Mars. Why did you join up with Dark Knight? So, I heard the voice of Mars while I was in the hospital. Asking for help with the relayers, you know. And how could I deny Mars the gift of me? So I ditched the hospital. But... You were just at a total loss. Had no idea what to do next. But... Then I heard another voice from this masked guy. He was calling to me. An underage girl approached by a strange man in a mask. This sounds concerning. A masked man? My first suspect would be Observer. The real one, not Second Lieutenant Prince. <laughs> well, I was fine. He was way up in the UEG. He gave me proof. He had a business card and everything. If he was fake, then what was he up to? <sighs> he said there was someone else who wanted to go to Mars like me. And he introduced me to that cool relayer guy. What? You're saying Observer introduced you to Dark Knight? Hmm. It seems our man of mystery has connections with the relayers. This certainly raises his threat level. As a relayer, I can transfer from the Earth to Mars in less than a day. It was at about that time that I set off on my quest to find a warrior capable of opposing the Dark Lord on Mars. She had only just awakened as a star child, so there was, as of yet, no animosity between us. I therefore took the opportunity to request her assistance. Mars is the planet of the War God. That's why it respects anyone who fights and dies on this land. Even relayers. And then, there's the matter of the pain Dark Lord's gravity loss caused. Mars won't let that slide either. An earthquake? What's going on? T Tara, look! The will of Mars. I feel it quivering in fear. Is that a dark year too?
Did it belong to Dark Knight's friend? Repulsive force within the gear is gradually rising. Damn. Dark Lord is not content merely to defile my friend's grave. She intends to profane the rest of every warrior here and turn the planet into a crematorium. Excellent work. Think of all the Martian souls we will be able to free from gravity's confines with this. And this gear is mine? I gave my word. In return, you must guide the people of Mars to Elysium. Well then, once preparations are ready, we shall begin our heavenly ascent. Hold it, cultist freak! My, I see it now. You are the star child of this world. You have done well to make it this far. I take it you have seen the light and seek your soul's release. <laughs> Eat my ass! I'm here to take your giant mummy and bust its face in. I can't believe that was sleeping beneath Mars. I imagine you spared not a thought for my comrade, interred for 100 million years in this soil. My, and I thought you wouldn't show. But here you are, riding to the rescue in a quasar. Now, it is time for me to depart. You are the shepherd, and Mars is your flock. Lead them well. Indeed, I will. Wait! Martian Star Child, our priority is the destruction of that unit. Otherwise, your very planet will face annihilation. Can you accept that? shells will be fired from orbit to induce gravity loss. We must stop that gear before that happens. I understand that is your friend's gear. You are all right with destroying it? It matters not. Better it be destroyed than in the Dark Lord's hands. Hold it! Behold! Craft with a peerless arsenal that will allow me to teabag my enemy right in the face over and over! <laughs> the hell are you saying? Your own gibberish! Perish with your planet, Star Child! Mars! Get out of the way! <laughs> no good! There's no evading this bullet hell! Huh? Who dares? <clears throat> Sorry, but you're not taking my daughter. That voice... Uh, is that you, Dad? I'll cover you. Regroup! <laughs> I, I told you, I don't need your help. Actually... Humoring him would not be unwise. Fine. Captain! You know you can't be piloting a Quasar! I know how to deal with an armament like that. But I will admit it packed a harder punch than I thought. Pluto, what on earth compelled the Captain to go out in a Quasar? Fatherly love, I guess. I mean, he did retire from the military, and joined GT Labs so he could pay for Mars's treatments, and have more time with her. Huh. Hey, Captain. Is your left arm okay? You're not supposed to be piloting with your old wounds. It's fine. An arm's a small price to pay to protect my daughter. Uh, hey! Hold on! What the hell are you talking about? Mars, listen, okay? The captain. I mean your father. 
was badly wounded when he was in the army. He can barely use his left arm. Oh, but he put himself in danger because he knew he would be in trouble. Do you understand? But I... Dad, I didn't think you... That's why I went alone! The captain is a man of few words and doesn't always come across that well. But he really does love you, Mars. So you're the Martian star child. You're going to need better hardware than that. Go to the Astros. Your stellar gear is ready. Dad! Okay, I will. I'll be right back. Akaboshi, the Martian star child is headed your way. Take good care of her. Leave it to us, Chief. We've got her gear up and running. Wish my old man had spoiled me this much. to keep you waiting. Behold, the raddest, baddest pro gamer around. Make way for the radiant god of war, Neil Mars! Mars! Hm. I'll take it from here, Dad. I know you can. Let's talk when this is over. Okay. Maximum EMC! Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. With elegance. Yes, I'm up. Moving out. This is nothing! Hit me dead on! He's leveled up. Ease up, rookie. Follow my lead. The first star is ready to shut. Killing. Moving out. Let's move. Let's go. Healing. I'm the only Mercury. No one can replace me.
recovering. What a pain. Commencing operation. We got with you. That's all. Counting on you, Yadaka. Stella Gerastoria. Ready to blaze trails. Catching you up. It's my turn. I won't miss. A battle well fought. I look forward to our next match. I've grown more elegant. Me? I'm gonna mow them all down. Taking action. Yeah! I'll go different. Have I been hit? I've got you. Try me on for size. You won't get away. Game, set, match. I've leveled up. Surprise, the first star is ready to shine. You're done. <laughs> I've upped my game. Commencing repairs. Moving out. This is nothing. The same. I'll support. I pride myself on flawless work. Recovering. I'm not on commission. Let's get this over with. heads prevail in both love and war. Level up. Whatever that means. Am I... needed? Moving out. I'll provide support. Move out. Let's get started. Back up! Next for me, MC! 
Stelagir Astoria. Ready to blaze trails. up this mess. <sighs> Recovery! I'm gonna mow them all down. Back you up. I've got you. Follow my lead. Don't resist. We'll go different. Let's do it. What a pain. Move. I'll provide support. Let's get started. Be gone! Yodaka! I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. No dice! Clean up this mess. There. I'm gonna mow them all down. Up, rookie. Try me on for size. Don't resist. The sun glows a little bit brighter. 
I'll do what I can to protect the universe. Come on! You really thought you could beat me? <laughs> Level up time! Impossible. Even with such power, victory eludes my grasp! Though he may be 100 million years gone, that was my friend's personal gear. It will not serve the likes of you. <laughs> You meant healing. Recovering. Right. Off to work we go. Fine. I'll help you out. Taking action. Focusing firepower. Let's get rolling, Adaka. It's time to move out. I'll clear the way! Have I been hit? With Ellie. I've got you now! It's on the end. A battle well fought. I look forward to our next one. I've leveled up. Impossible! Yes, I'm up! Back you up. I've got you. Follow my lead. I've got you. The first star is ready to shine. I'm with you. Maximum EMC! The gear won't hold up at this rate. With elegance. I'll take that. Yes, I'm up. I've got you. <laughs> Try not to get burnt. I've got you. I've leveled up. Let's do it. Done. On to the next one. <laughs> I've upped my game.
Enemy forces neutralized. Great work, everyone. Until we got to Mars, I never envisioned that we would be fighting a massive dark gear. I'm so glad that the ice is beginning to thaw between Mars and the Captain. Humans are truly an incomprehensible species. They claim amity. They fall to bickering and conflict. However, it was through such means that Himiko and I attained a mutual understanding. Perhaps the important things are to put one's emotions into words and open up to one another. To put one's emotions into words and open up. I feel like I've grown stronger. I feel I've grown some. I feel a bit stronger. I've leveled up. I have leveled up. All right. Le Captain, we're prepared to take off. We can leave at any time. Do so at once, as soon as everyone is back. I appreciate your cooperation, soldier. <laughs> Save your gratitude. We'll have each other's backs in the future, like we promised, right? You're different from the Terran Star Child. In exchange for your assistance, I would not object to answering a single question. In that case, tell us what you know about the Martian monoliths. They are gravestones. Stones? From 100 million years ago, for the Relayers and the ancient warriors of the Milky Way, who battled when Aphrodite fled to this cosmos. That is the true nature of what you humans call the Martian Monoliths. We Relayers have invaded countless galaxies and battled an endless range of soldiers. However, the nameless fighters of that age actually erected graves for us, for their enemies. So, the inscriptions on the monoliths... The names of those buried, that is all. The Martian monoliths are tombstones. How strange. While no more than a simple object carved with name rotted earth, I feel my comrade's presence in this stone. I am compelled to treasure these emotions. <laughs> I've said too much. A rare occasion. Time for me to depart, I sense. Hold it. I've still got business with you. It's been a while, ex-collaborator. To think we would meet here. Why is he on Mars? And why are you all buddy-buddy with him? <laughs> That's right. You don't know. Then allow me to enlighten you. You know who was responsible for the gravity loss in Hoshinomiya City? The one who destroyed the House of Stars? This scumbag. <gasps> you? No, it can't be, then... You killed Mom! You triggered the gravity loss incident two years ago? That's... You've hurt me in ways that will never be healed! Are you angry? That is as it should be. It is the natural state of affairs between the Relayers and you humans. Your bloodlust is commendable. Hold on to it. <laughs> Allow me to leave with you a message for Dark Walker on your ship. Tell her that while she escaped judgment on Mars, we give no quarter to traitors. Himiko, there you are. Yes, I was just thinking. About your friend. Nile, you called her? Yeah. We 
We've grown so far apart. Looking at the captain and his daughter, though, I think I understand why. So, I want to have a good talk with Niall. I want to tell her how I feel now. I do not understand your feelings toward this human. However, we have arrived at a mutual understanding, though we are of different races. I believe it should not be difficult for two human friends to reconcile. Yes, I agree. I'm going to work up the courage to talk to Niall. By the way, why were you looking for me? Did you need something? Let me guess. <laughs> you wanted to stargaze. Himiko. I am leaving this ship. Be sure to inform the collaborator. Inform Luna of this fact. Dark Knight is now aware of my presence. You will be involved in needless conflict if I stay. I suppose there's no point in trying to stop you. My resolve is firm. <sighs> then I won't stop you. We'll meet again, won't we? I have faith that we will. Thank you, Walker. I'm glad we met. I am as well, First Star. Himiko. So, Walker ditched us. Yes. She said to say goodbye to you, Luna. And to take care. Yeah, right. I know you made that up. She never was one for talking. She wouldn't think of anything that thoughtful. I'll bet tell her I'm leaving was as far as it got. Uh, you guessed it. So, is that all you came to tell me? Despite appearances, I don't have all the time in the world. Say, Luna. What do you think of Terra? You know, I don't think you've called her your sister once since you boarded this ship. <sighs> Is she just a stranger to you now, Luna? Are you alright with that? It's not like that. I guess. Is it that hard? It's what Terra wants too, you know. You don't need to hold back. Yeah. Easy for you to say. You don't know what happened between us. I can't throw away a lifetime's worth of hatred just like that. You want me to play happy family with my darling sister? Pretend that nothing's happened? Uh, I... I understand how you feel. But Tara isn't the type to care if you hate her. Yeah, she isn't. And that makes me feel even more awful. Luna, you feel guilty? That's right, First Star. So here's my wish. Do something about that. Though I suppose that's asking too much, even for you. What's the matter?